Hi everyone. So this is a video on my glossary. I had been asked some questions by a viewer on uh, on my glossary and uh, how I worked it. So basically I just wanted to show how it's done. You don't need something fancy and complicated, but here, this is glossary as you can see, and I have sheet one. When I have new terms that need to go in, so I'll just enter them here. And then every now and then I want them, since I want them in alphabetical order, what I'll do is I'll just basically select everything. And I want it in alphabetical order from the uh, from column B, which will be the source text. I translate from Italian into English. What I do then is I click data, sort, sort by column B, sort on values, sure, and I press OK. And so it should be somewhere. There we go. DM, Decreto Ministeriale, Ministerial Decree right here. That's it. And I just like to keep them just so I have access to them. If in the future I come across something, you know, GR. I know that GR stands for Junta Regionale, which is Regional Council. Now, these are all on one file, just so they're easy to find. I have a couple, as you can see here, Violino. The reason I have that is I did some translation for this, uh, for violins, basically. And so I just wanted to record these terms, but I didn't want to create a new sheet just for these, I don't know, handful of terms. So I put a note next to them, you know, onto the side. So I know that if I see Altezza, which could mean height, usually, but if it is in the context of violins or music or anything like that, it usually means pitch. Now, I do have another file called Switzerland, which is even more rudimentary, because I translate from Italian to English, but I deal a lot with the Italian part of Switzerland. Acronyms or legal terms, etc., are very specific to Switzerland or to the Italian part of Switzerland, and so in Italy they will be very different. Many times these are harder to find for me, so when I do find them, I want to keep them in a separate file. Also because if I'm translating Swiss documents, I know that I should search here. Otherwise, that's it. The client ones, I'm not going to click on them. Again, I'm not sure if there's anything proprietary there, so I won't click on them, but they're basically the same kind of deal that client sent me and that I used for them. I hold on to them in case I deal with them in the future or there's a follow-up to those translations I worked on. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, this is very simple what I do, and yet I do find it useful and I'm adding to it all the time, and so I definitely recommend you start keeping a glossary. There are many better ways and more advanced ways to keep glossaries, but when you start out, something like this works great. And so by all means, just keep it on Excel or even one of those spreadsheets, you know, the Open Docs or Google Spreadsheets, something like that will work fine as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful and I'll talk to you next time. Don't forget to click like if you did find this useful and please subscribe as well so you can get more useful tips. Thanks. Bye.